This review's on the movie Crypto. I'm the younger guy, and I'm going to tell you like it is. I put the film Crypto off for months because I figured, well, Kurt Russell, he'll just walk through the film. Well, I was right. But the only reason I finally gave in to watch the film Crypto was because of Kurt Russell. He walked through, but he delivered 100%. Director for the film Crypto was John Stahlberg, Jr. John is also a screenwriter. Stahlberg's directorial debut was the comedy film High School. The cast on the film Crypto was Bo Knapp, Jeremiah Harris, Alexis Beldol, Luke Hemsworth, and Kurt Russell. What the heck is Bitcoin? What the pickles? Bitcoin is only a number showing how many Bitcoins you have. So you can exchange Bitcoin into cash depending on the value of the Bitcoin value for that day. From a Bitcoin ATM, you can sell your Bitcoin to people, invest your Bitcoin through a Bitcoin broker, or buy something with Bitcoin who accepts it as legal tender. First, you buy Bitcoin with cash. After a lengthy research, trusting different entities, and being lucky, you finally can acquire Bitcoin. Now you put your Bitcoin in a soft wallet, which means it is a small amount and it's on your computer. Or you can put your Bitcoin extra large amount in a hard wallet, which looks like a thumb drive, which no one can get unless you lose your thumb drive. After all that, you pray that Bitcoin will go up in value. For example, the first Bitcoin purchase was for two pizzas for 10,000 Bitcoin. At that time, Bitcoin was worth $30, 10,000 Bitcoin. Now, and that was back in 2010. That 10,000 Bitcoin is worth $7 million in the United States currency today. Earl, played by Jeremiah Harris in the film Crypto, was mining Bitcoin in the back room of his store. Mining is not digging items up in the Bitcoin world. All Bitcoin transactions and the amount of Bitcoin people have around the world in their wallets is on a transparent ledger. The transparency ledger on thousands and thousands of powerful computers that uses a lot of electricity owned by regular people, businesses, whomever. That way no one can have a duplicity of their money. To do mining for Bitcoin, you need a powerful computer that first can do complex mathematical problems by means of purchasing a powerful graphics card or a piece of hardware, and that's the only pur purpose is, is to do complicated math problems. To be able to mine Bitcoin, there's a list of questions you need to answer yourself. For example, your electric bill will go sky high. If your computer answers a complicated math problem correctly, and plus there has to be a need for another miner, then you will be one of the thousands around the world to see Bitcoin transactions on your transparent ledger. Example, as a Bitcoin miner, you will see this. You can't see who the buyer or seller is, and you don't know their location, but for each transaction on your transparency ledger, you can get a small percentage of the transaction. A lot of times you will just break even because it depends on the number of transactions you receive and the amount of, amount of the transactions are. Plus you have other expenses that goes along with mining Bitcoin. The, now the review on the film. The time period for the film Crypto was one week. The film Crypto is about a large bank that is doing very well, especially after installing new software, an algorithm that hedges their bets and keeping their competition off their scent. Once a bank installs new software, the federal law requires them to hire a BSA compliance person, and that's Martin, to, to ensure that applicable programs, policies, and procedures of the corporation and affiliates comply with the BSA, AML, OFAC laws and regulations. Well, Martin did find some money laundering going on in the bank, and he reported his findings. That meant Martin made it impossible for that bank to do business with a company that had a revenue exceeding $7 billion. So, the bank is pissed off at Martin. The bank can't fire him, so they shipped him off to a half-dying town, Elba, New York, Martin's hometown, where his father, Martin Sr., and his brother, Caleb, are trying to keep their potato farm from going under. Martin's moved to the small bank branch and quickly finds out half the town is dying, the other half is thriving like crazy, man. After doing some research, Martin found out an art gallery, gallery was doing extremely well in a small town. So Martin starts digging. Martin finds out a lot more about the town's split personality and its dealings when he bumps up with his old friend Earl. 
Earl has a store that was left to him by his father. But in the back room of the store, Earl is heavy into mining Bitcoin. I found this film very intriguing because I knew less than nothing about Bitcoin until I did my research for this film. I still know nothing about Bitcoin, but my research did help me understand and gain knowledge about the newest and intricate workings of businesses. I am not naive about big business, but there are so many different ways to cheat and make millions nowadays. It's, it's inconceivable, but I guess if a simple car wash can launder money, why not big business? Have an A one day. Um, of course, I'm talking about the series Breaking Bad in their car wash. They casted Jill Hennessy, the star on the TV show Crossing, Jordan Perfect for this film. Out of 10, I gave this film a 7.9. Hey, thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Spoiler alert, maybe. Screenshot of words from Jeremiah were passwords for his hard wallets. Shh.